What's up, everybody? Let's go ahead and get started. We're a little bit late today. Uh, I had to start work early this morning, earlier than normal, and I conked out. Uh, but we're here. We're playing some Cloud Punk. Let's get going. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to a special Christmas Eve edition of the White Llama Show. We're happy to have each and every one of you. Uh, tonight, we're going to play Cloud Punk. Uh, it is not cyberpunk. It is another dystopian future cyberpunk-like game uh, where you are a delivery driver. And uh, that's about all I know about the game. Uh, so definitely looking forward to playing it. I, this one's been on my radar for a while now. And, uh, yeah, just really, really looking forward to uh, giving it a shot. Let's get some other music going here. There we go. So, hope you all are having a good holidays. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas or otherwise, just uh, happy holidays. Happy Thursday. Otherwise, Cyberpunk, Best Punk. Eventually, we will play Cyberpunk uh, in the future. But Cloudpunk, I've heard good things. I, it's overwhelmingly positive on Steam right now. Uh, I, I played a little bit of it just to test it out. Like, when I say a little bit, like, two or three minutes. Uh, seemed pretty cool, so definitely looking forward to it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get the game started. I'm going to turn this off right quick. Turn this sound on. Yeah. All right, let me just give a little shot at my options here. Everything looks good. All right, without further ado, let's see what Cloudpunk is like. Uh, as far as this weekend's schedule goes, I know it's the holidays. I do plan on streaming tomorrow. It'll probably be closer to about 7 o'clock. I'll be spending time, obviously, with family uh, Christmas Day and all that stuff, uh, as well as watching the Saints game. But after the Saints game, uh, the stream will go back on. Uh, we're going to be streaming a lot over the next uh, few weeks, including starting New Year's Eve. Yo, Hannah, how are you doing? Thank you for that host. I appreciate it. Going old school here. What's up, Hannah? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to everybody from Hannah's stream. Uh, where were you playing? How'd your stream go? I hope everything was going great. And Kathia, thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the petting zoo. Why watch the Aints? They gonna lose? Uh, can we ban Cork? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's okay to be wrong, and uh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> but what's up, Hannah? It's good to see you. And, uh, Kieran, thank you for that follow as well. Welcome to the Petting Zoo. We're just getting started. We're going to play some Cloud Punk tonight. Uh, been nearly three years. I know. I, we've been knowing each other a long, long time. And unfortunately, like, you went to TwitchCon the year that I didn't go to TwitchCon, and we didn't get to meet up, but, uh, definitely, definitely good to see you, as always. Um, anyways... We're going to get this started. But very Merry Christmas to all of you. Hope you all have a great holiday if you celebrate the holidays. If not, I hope you have a great weekend. All right. Yeah, I wish so too. Uh, I I tried not to go every year, but let's see. Space and descend. Space is ascend. Shift. W accelerate. Steer left. Oh, God. I'm never going to remember this stuff. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Bald Monk, welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas. All right. So I have no idea what this game is about, what we got to do. But we're going to drive around here and just see what happens. But yeah, everybody, go follow Hannah. Fantastic, longtime friend. Uh, Control, come in. Go show her is some this, love. Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14 FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14 FB. What oh, happened God. to him? I don't remember the controls at all. He, he retired last Alright, I assume I got a park right him. there. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I think I'm handling my Hava pretty good. References. You're a good driver, but navigating a Hava around the Valis isn't like driving your flat. Ooh, almost got no. Ooh, I don't know if I can get in a wreck, but that was close. 
<laughs> You're so drunk. I, I saw you were doing a drinky stream. <laughs> I saw that. Find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. when you arrive. Fly to headquarters. Oh, I see where headquarters are. One more thing, 14 FC. Welcome to Yeah, we're friends on Facebook. I don't. I, I barely even use Facebook except to troll my friends uh, politically who are very right leaning. <laughs> so like, that's really the only reason why I post on Facebook anymore. Uh, go. Come on. All right. It's a beautiful world. I really like the world right here. You love my political fit, dude. So, like, all my friends are, like, super, super right-leaning. You're off to bed since it's, like, three. Have an amazing stream. Hey, you too, Kathy. Have an amazing Christmas. And uh, feel free to come back anytime. We'd love to have you. All right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my little navigation bar to the right there. I, I Can I go through the walls? Oh, my God. I can go through the walls. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh... Park vehicle. Okay. I hear this has a really good story, like... As far as, like, at, at its surface, you're a delivery driver in this cyberpunk world. Uh, zoom in to enter first-person view. Okay. Ooh. Alright, what are we doing? Pick up payload. You have vacation for two and a half weeks. Nice, dude. Um... Makes a note to never send Llama a friend request on Facebook. Yeah, it's pretty much just where I dump my political opinions on on there. I, I, and honestly, I really, if not for some of the friends I have on there, like, I would totally get rid of Facebook. Uh, I go on vacation in a week and a half, and I'll be off for 10 days. And we're actually going to be celebrating my five years here on Twitch uh, with nine straight days of 8 to 12 hour streams. So it's going to be pretty intense. Uh, pick, pick up payload. All right. 14 FC. This is going to the marrow. The Where's marrow. That? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. Kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. There's Carmen a gang member right over driver. here. I kind of want to talk to him. To fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. Yeah. Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? Interesting. One the bald monk. Another, Thank you for that yeah, follow. Welcome to the petting zoo, my like friend. A nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Hey, hey, I won't ask Everything what's in the package. Jeez. Maybe it's a PlayStation 5, and I can actually bring it home and play it. So I'm looking at all these icons. Like, I see where I have to go on the little mini-map, but, like, I see a gang member over here. I'm curious, like, what happens if I go to the gang member. Can I, like, join the gang? Because that would be cool. Hey, what's up, gang member? All right. We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Hey, hey, I respect Show us something you. To respect then. You're sassy. <laughs> acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that <laughs> I name. love this voice. Razor, are you a shaving robot? You don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. 
Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... Gangy. You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. <laughs> you stay loose. I love the voice boy. acting in this game. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. That was a terrible accent by me. All right, so there's a lot of icons on here, and I feel like I'm gonna be. Oh, there's there's Bruce Wayne and uh, oh, he just left her. Never mind. I thought those were his parents. All right, what's what's going on over here? There's something. Oh, here we go. What is this? Punch card. Open open inventory. It's a punch card. It's covered in holes. They seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. My old flute, a dried flower from the Eastern Peninsula. I used this as a bookmark when I was back home, but I hardly read anymore. I think I should throw this away. But when I think about it going into a trash can here in Nevada, something feels wrong and I can't let it go. Ruined plasteel can be melted down and reused. Maybe I can sell it to a vendor for some limbs. I don't know what a limb is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Dude, I love the world here. This is like really cool. It's like Minecraft meets cyberpunk. It's really cool. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the Ray. What can I get you? Uh, I don't really need anything. I can get crispy meat, soda, or a candy bar. Thank you. Nah, I don't need it. I don't. Let all the rain get you down. I'm good. <laughs> all right, later, bro. I just want to explore this world. That That's really all I want to do. I don't really care about... I mean, I, I care about the main story, but I really don't. Also, I think I kind of would rather see my character. This is really, really fascinating, though. Um, I can't wait to play Cla uh, Cyberpunk as well. But I'm kind of waiting on it to... On some of the hype to die down on it. Uh, just for streamer reasons, but but this is gonna satiate me until that time. Uh, let's see, inner vehicle. All right, let's see if we can find where we need to go. Let's go back on the highway, which I assume this is what this is. Whoa, I'm a drunk driver. Whoa, hello. I'm a terrible driver. Jesus, I can't control my car. <laughs> I'm like swerving all over the place here. Get out of my way, old man. The hype died on release. What you gotta wait is for the hate to die down. Very true. Very true. And I mean, some of the hate is rightfully so. I mean, they, they did deliver a buggy mess, but but in the same light, like people people like the con the average consumer really rushed for that game to come out. So, like, I feel like they could have taken more time and just letting it naturally come out when it was ready. But people got to have everything right now. All right, I'm going to just deliver the package. I don't know, like, like there, it seems like there's a lot of side stuff in here. Whoa, where am I going? Oh yeah, for sure. That being said, it, it's not as bad of a um, of a launch as say like No Man's Sky or some other games that got a lot of criticism. Oh my God, I'm so terrible at driving in this. Hey, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. 
It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. I don't know why I'm Sorry, playing with my mouse. Kind of joke. The mouse has Go nothing ahead, to do control. with this game. Hoppers are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your hoppers field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and I have no idea what this but guy is talking fly about. Just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. That's true. Your hopper the marrow. Fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old rude parts of the city that are off the grid. <laughs> Uh, let's be honest, a lot of the hate is freaking nitpicky, like people doing vids and making forum threads on how you can only have sex with a couple characters, or because you can't see yourself naked. I mean, that is nitpicky. I, I do think that, uh, people that are playing it on console have a real point when they're being critical. And it stops us just flying Hang on, I probably should listen to this. Right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs sure. up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. So the CEOs don't want you going too high to see them like banging it out on their uh, on their front porch. All right, we're gonna park over here. All right. So that's me right there. All right. Let's go talk to this person. Talk to Trixie Dio. Did you try the okonomiyaki? No. Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? What? No. There's a free meal in it for you. Ooh. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. That's perfect. Wait, I'm going to be on a TV show? Oh, shit. That's awesome. All right, what does the merchant have? What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Dude, the, the, some, some of these voices, as good as the voice acting is, some of the voices just do not match the, the character look. Like, y'all can't see it, but... Like, this guy over here doesn't really... Doesn't really fit the description. See, I don't want to cover the map, so I'd rather be on the right side of the screen. I mean, on the left side of the screen than the right. Thanks. But now y'all aren't going to be able to see the... Uh, y'all aren't going to be able to see the uh, how the character looks, which is a little annoying. But I think it would be better for y'all to see the mini-map than the... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but... I got another punch card, which I don't know what the punch cards do. So right now it's just very, very much a delivery kind of game. All right, we got an engineer over here. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? Yeah. This is actually my first night on the job. Ah. Still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient, they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. Mm. 
They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. <laughs> but if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or <laughs> red. Either one. One of them. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or <laughs> orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? And if they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. All right, if we see any colors on signs, we're screwed, basically. All right, what's this over here? I'm like the worst delivery driver ever. I, I, I go everywhere but where I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, God, where am I going? I just stood on this elevator and have no idea where it's bringing me. Probably not the best idea in the world. Oh, we're up here now. Okay. All right, what's over here? Oh, what is this? Hollow cash? Please enter your security code. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't think that was it. All right, let's go back down. I don't think there's anything that we need up here. I like this world, though. Um, and it looks like all the NPCs and stuff are just kind of like a lore kind of thing that you want to do. Just to kind of understand the world a little bit better. All right, let's go deliver this package to Erwin Carva. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, that guy's a badass. Okay. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. B please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I'm not supposed to look. I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Just think. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments. No expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Why are you getting all this money, though? Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... Old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. And Sputnik. The NASA shuttles. The UN Interplanetary 101. Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin... We know these toys were important to you at one time. Hmm. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, so he got toys instead of a instead of money. That sucks for him. Alright, so we made our first delivery. Let's hop back in our little cruiser here and see where we need to go next. Uh what's up, control? Good job, kid. 
I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. Oh, wait a the minute. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. I Just missed something over here. making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Am I? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. I'm really curious about this Control guy. I feel like he's probably a lot more seedy than, than he's letting on. Also, I see in the right side, I think that, I think that we might have a Low gas meter. AI. I don't Low think we have assistant. a food meter, but we have a gas Low meter computer. for sure. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. I'm, I'm a ma'am, ma damn it. Please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you oh, like I to see. So you got to go to gas stations offer? in order to fuel up. Premium mode. Now, just... How much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1,500 limbs, sir. Ooh. I, I mean, I don't know what that would do, but I have 1,500 limbs. I'm really intrigued by this. Like, nothing's really happening yet, like but... Pay. Direct transfer. But it really seems like Please it's going to have a really... Media rich story in process. as time goes on. Automata personality Camus will be activated in approximately 20 Yo, minutes. Yo, Spooter, what's up, buddy? Would you like to deactivate the generic Automata what personality is this over now? Here? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new Automata. Good day, Mr. Wait, I get a new Automata? Is it a near Automata? Alright, let's see what the mechanics do. I assume they, like, upgrade your car or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine waiting for your new 3D printer to finish. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, there are damages that happen to your vehicle. That sucks. Doing good. Uh, we're trying out this Cloudpunk game. Just got started. Uh, it's actually pretty dope so far. Um, I don't really know what the story is so far, but basically we're a delivery driver right now. That, that's all I know. Uh, retro antenna. This looks like what they used in ancient times when antennas were actually needed. Purely cosmetic. Well, we gotta get it. I mean. And then go ahead and fix all the damages on my car. I, I don't know if I had any damages, but if I did, definitely want them fixed up. That go there goes all my money. Alright, so do I now have an antenna on my car? I, I don't see... Oh my god, I have an antenna on my car. That was such a waste of money. <laughs> I thought it was going to do something cool like give me new music or something. In fact, speaking of music. Let's turn that music up just a touch. I feel like that's going to be one of the bigger draws of this game. This might be the coolest present you've ever gotten. Yeah, I, I've used a 3D printer once whenever I worked at the library. They're pretty they're pretty dope. Uh, let's see, where am I? We're, oh, we're like in the slums now. Look at this. There's like a drug dealer and shit. Oh, God. All right, where do I park at? Probably where it says parking. Yep, right over here. See, this is the this is the cyberpunk game we all we all wanted in the end. Just a blocky Minecraft cyberpunk. 
it's actually really cool. Uh, I got the bar over here. I wish I could go in. I keep getting these punch cards, and I'm not really sure what they do, but I, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We got some kind of pill shop over here. Definitely want to check that out. Oh, a dealer. A drug dealer. You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? All right, what does this do? A golden brown high with a steady come down. Everyone knows uh, juice was a legal stimulant until the drug company failed to pay their kickback to corpse sec. And stimulating brain and muscle tissue to give you that extra boost. So, so far, I have no idea how any of this would help me. Uh, cause we just started. So I'm not gonna, Thanks. I'm I'm not gonna pay for drugs. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. I am not buying drugs until I know what they do for me. Uh, can't wait to get settings dialed in so you can work cranking out custom transformers and video game props. Right on, dude. Well, uh, definitely, uh, when you, when you start making some cool shit, uh, shoot me a message. Let me know. I'd love to see what you make. Uh, let's see. There's another punch card over here. Let's go grab that. Cloudcast. Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Thompson Media produces the audio content you want to hear. Okay, I gotta go in there, I think. How do I get in there? This is like the seedy part of town, I can tell. How in the hell do I get in this build? Oh, I see. Okay, I gotta go... I gotta go around this this walkway. No. Can I maybe walk down this? No. Uh oh. I don't know how to deliver this package. It's literally where I need to go is right there. Uh. Let's see if we can go around this way maybe. Yeah, I think I think we got to go like over here on this walkway. <laughs> I love the music. Here we go. Konama. Uh, we got us another Got some spare parts. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk. All right, here's a package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, what? thanks. <laughs> what am I, Is what am I delivering? Really what did I just say? Oh, I bet you it's human meat. Ugh. I'm in 14 FC. How are you handling the hava so far? Hello, this is 14 FC. Yes, everything is totally Long fork. fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster even. Just remember the highways channel and induction loop through your hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When oh, look, it's a, highways, it's it's a like cyberpunk a school bus. You. You'll get a big speed boost. <laughs> oh, I didn't see. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical reason. Looks more interesting than Cyberpunk 2077. I'm really intrigued by Cyberpunk 2077, but I'm giving it some time to work out any of the kinks. But this is really cool. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. Being able to drive in these flying cars is honestly so much fun. Even though the controls are like super basic. Yep. Alright, we're 
we're going into Little China, I guess. I'm just really curious where this story ends up going. Like, you can tell there's like some some really dark themes going on, but like there's a real hidden backstory that we're not privy to just yet. So these are the highways, and then you get off when where you can. Excuse me, coming through. All right, I think I'm gonna go park over here somewhere. Where can I park at? Can I park it in the rich part of town? Hell yeah. This is the nicest parking lot I've I've been in so far. The only thing I would say is I don't like even though this world is open worldy, not being able to go into any of these buildings. I mean, I get it. It's an indie game. It's not going to have as much depth to where you can like Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't walk into that building. But it would be cool to be able to walk into some of these buildings. And maybe we do at some point. Who knows? There is like an amusement park icon over here. I kind of want to see what that's all about. I already know that somehow I'm going to lose my car, though. That is absolutely 100% happening. Oh, so I just, I if I get those parts, I sell them to a vendor and I get money for it. So it doesn't look like they do anything other than give you money. All right, what do we got over here? Some more parts? Oh, look, it's a hooker. Corpsec Flyer, what does that say? Uh, they're trying to recruit for their informant program. Gray text on a dark gray background. Inspiring. I can't do anything with it. I might be able to sell it, though. Bum, 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 bum. Love the music. All right, I might have to get back to my car to get over here. Oh wait, how oh I guess I can't sell to this guy. Thanks for this. Okay. Y'all come back. Actually, I think I think I just go left up here. Can I go through here? No. Okay. Well, I gotta figure out how to get closer to that green icon. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can sell to the to this guy over here. Yeah, this merchant. I'm sure he'll buy some of my stuff. Here's what I can offer you today. Water. Street style hoodie jacket. This hood makes me look like an outlaw or a grandma. I kind of want to buy the hoodie jacket. Not going to lie. Let's do it. Upgrade installed hoodie jacket. So do I put it on? Oh, it removed it. Oh, that sucks. I just bought a hoodie jacket and then I just like threw it on the floor. <laughs> all right, let's sell all of that. Sell this corset fly uh, flyer. And then we don't sell any of this stuff. 
Coolant fluid used for machinery. That seems important. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. I hope I can pick up that hoodie somewhere. It doesn't look like it. I think I just bought a hoodie and then just threw it on the floor. <laughs> it's like, you take your hoodie. I don't want your damn hoodie. It's an ugly hoodie anyway. <laughs> So I just threw it on the ground. I spit on your hoodie. <laughs> Wait, there, there's definitely something I can pick up over here. Got some more parts. All right, let's sell these parts. Thanks. I look forward. I wonder if you can become like a millionaire in, in this game. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No. Street rat, riff raff. Most I don't ask what's in the buy package. that. Hmm. The smell makes them curious. What's in the package? Dinner, meat, cannibals. Which animal? What a strange question. Good day. This land has cannibals. Uh, vehicle upgrade unlocked. Red Tracer. I wonder what that does. And how do I upgrade my vehicle? Do I need to go to a mechanic, maybe? I bet you that's exactly what I gotta do. Probably have to go to a mechanic, and they might change the color of my car, maybe? I already got the antenna. Fourteen FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. There's a lot of stuff over me? here. <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Okay. Me. I won't. I won't mention any of them, sir. I won't let you down. Even though I think you're probably a bad guy. And we're gonna find that out later, I bet. Alright, what's up, Teko? Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Hey, welcome Sam. back, Wash. Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. It's a game called Cloudpunk. No, I can't go to a Pretty shelter. Pretty cool, actually. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, I'm um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here, then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari... Tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will do, Taiko. 
That would be cool if we randomly found her. Uh, what's it about? Uh, you are... Well, hang on. I was listening to the dialogue. So, you are a delivery driver in a uh, cyberpunk-type world. Uh, so far, we don't really know, like, what's going on behind the scenes. I get a feel like there's this really dark story happening. Like, I think we just delivered human meat to some cannibals. I, I'm not real sure. They tell you, don't look in the package. Uh and uh, just deliver it on time. So we don't know what's in the package, but I got a feeling we just delivered some cannibal meat. Um, yeah, but it's a really cool game so far. Well, what's up, Corpse Head Guard? Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you, and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now, or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? No, no, no. Never heard of them. Hold, please. I lied. Yes, she says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Hey, Mono. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our servers said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Yeah, I have a flute. Wanna play us some music? Sure, I have Maybe a flute. Time. Oh, I have a flute! No, see, I got... I have a flute right here. I can play it. All right, what do we got? Ooh, what is this? Uh, item added flyer. This card says it's for an Android dating agency, but it doesn't say if it's a dating an agency for androids, for humans that want to date androids, or for androids that want to date humans. Kinky. Kinky. Uh, let's see. So you can pick up these little items and some of them give you money. Like that's going to give me money whenever I uh whenever I find a vendor. There's something in here, but I don't know how to pick it up yet. What is this? Memory chip. Uh this has been formatted, but that just means someone else can use it. See, I could sell that, but then there's a part of me that wonders maybe I could uh, I could use it. What is this? Some more juice. All right. Return to my vehicle. But where's the fun in that? I don't want to go back to my vehicle. I just want to explore this world. This world is amazing. What's in here? Oh. Uh, where, where's the human being that I needed to talk to? Oh, I think he's up this way, maybe? Rory Alpha. Here we go. Yo, what is up, listeners? This yeah! Rory Alpha giving you a shout-out <laughs> from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the undernet's hottest loudcast. Hang on. I wonder if, like, I should put myself, like, it's really weird. Like, I want y'all to be able to see the character art. Could you get the microphone away from me? Maybe oh, right yeah, here? You're another stuck-up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. She doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Woo, woo. And your show is about... Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, Bro Brothers. We got to find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? I hope this guy I hope that dies. Officer. 
He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell. I I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I got an achievement called Toxic Loudcaster. All right, uh, let's go. So yeah, uh, like I said, we are a delivery driver for a shady uh, company called Cloudpunk. We are not allowed to look inside the package. We do not know what's in the packages at all. Uh, we just have to go and deliver the stuff. Was that an achievement for what you did in the game or for what you did as a streamer? <laughs> a little bit of both. custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes. Please. Please. Oh, I need to talk to all these people somehow. Camus, are you there? It's you. I have a dog AI. You. Look How at that. Happy? What am I? feels strange you've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot oh kinky sorry camus <laughs> this is all i can afford right now i was a bad dog no you were the best camus i am just a hova now not as good i know i know we'll get i want to see how i can get I to promise. the top there because there's it some people up there i want to talk to i have a new job you don't play music anymore i like music me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh no, we hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited. And the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded. Trying to figure out how to find everybody. Uh, I need to get up another level. It might take you a bit longer to figure things out, but you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. It's a cool game. Achievement unlocked. Old friends. Oh. See, this brings me here. Maybe I just can't get there yet. We sent someone else. We need you to. Damn it! Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. All right, you're gonna have to wait, sir. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Nope, you're gonna have to wait, sir. Wait. I have more important things. FC. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Access restricted. Oh, okay, so I can't access that until I get a certain code. Interesting. I kind of wish that I could fast. Oh, wait a minute. You might be able to fast travel. I didn't know we had a map. That, that changes things. Okay, so we have a map. All right, let me actually look at my controls right quick. That, that might actually work. All right. Uh, inventory, action, map, disable HUD, unlock camera. Okay. Ascend, descend, steer left, right, cockpit... Oh, there's a cockpit view? What? Well, they could have told me that. That's pretty cool. I wish there was a... Like... I wish there was a warp to your car option. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's look at this. Oh my God, this is amazing. First person flying in the future mode. Holy cow, this is cool. You even have a rear view mirror, that's really awesome. 
All right, this is the cyberpunk game that everybody wanted. I'm on gas, about three quarters. I think we're good. I do hope eventually we get like filthy rich and are able to upgrade our car. But can you customize your junk? Well, you can pick up a hoodie, but I accidentally dropped it. There's a lot of stuff over there. All right, uh, let's go off over here. I have a feeling I'm not gonna wanna be in first person view when I start parking. Let's see if we can pull off the parking. Nope, that ain't, that, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, uh, where do I park at? Oh, I gotta park way the hell over here. All right, we're picking up that third package. Okay, how do I get over there? See, I can't walk over this way. Oh, here we go. All right, I know I'm going the wrong way, but there's some stuff over here. Boom, ba -doom, boom. What do we got here? Another memory chip. See, I don't know if I need to be selling that or holding on to it. I'm pretty much gonna hold on to it. More importantly, can I customize your junk all day, every day? I mean, this this is actually really a beautiful game. I, I like the art style. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control. Control. Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait. I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. <laughs> no. What is that box? It's right there. Okay, this I one. see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. The writing is really good too. Oh, uh, what is this? Ooh. Electronics. Cables, wires, printed circuit boards. Could be junk, could contain some sliver of valuable me metal. Maybe I can sell that to a vendor. So I'm thinking maybe we don't want to sell the memory chip, but things where it says maybe I can sell to a vendor, that's safe to go ahead and sell. That's the only thing I can imagine. Um, so we'll sell the circuitry, but uh, hang on to everything else. Let's see what's over this way. Let's see. It looks like we've got another little package here. This is totally going to be a game where I end up getting everything. At least all these memory chips and everything. Yo, welcome back, Wash. Oh my god, look at the clouds. Look at the block clouds. We're playing Cyberpunk uh, Minecraft Edition. It's fantastic. I'm like really, really freaking excited about this game. That's what I guess it is. Uh, it, yeah, I think those are clouds. Either that or smoke of some kind. You can also go first person. I just kind of prefer the third. Yeah, that's got to be clouds, right? Uh, let's see, where are we going? Head over this. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just kind of like taking in the world. It's really cool. All right, somebody tell me where I gotta go. Come on, uh, come on boss. You gotta tell me where I'm going. I hear 
Noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's a bomb! From the packet. Oh God! I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is Driver 14 FC. Come in. This is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? I don't think you should have to do that. What? It's getting really interesting. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Throw away the TikTok. Maybe. That's what we need to do. The trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Oh, am I about Nothing to have a choice? Back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. Oh God, I don't know what to do either. I just have to make a call on this one. All right, so we could deliver the payload to Metro Hub or drop the package into the trash chute. I'm actually really confused on what I should do here. Like there's a part of me that's like, okay, you should totally deliver it because it's your job. But in the same light, I'm pretty sure we have a bomb right now that's, and it's gonna be like terroristic activity. I think I think we're gonna throw it away. Uh, I don't know what y'all feel like, but I, I feel like throwing away this package probably the best thing we could be doing. So I'm gonna go. This is the first actual choice I've had in the game, and I'm gonna choose to throw this pack. What if? But in the same light, what if it's just simply an alarm clock that's ticking? Then then I just threw away somebody's Christmas present. That would be also terrible. I don't I don't know I don't know what to do. I I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away. I've made the decision, and we are going to throw this package away. We might piss off some people in the process. I might lose my job, but I got a bad feeling that... Yeah, I, we gotta throw this away. Control told me there are only two rules, and I think we already broke them both, Camus. I guess we just tell Control we lost it? I am frightened. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Maybe I won't even be fired. Really? I doubt it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... Oh, I got an achieve, achievement called Two Roads Diverged. That's a cool achievement. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? I'm um, sorry. No, nothing. All right, well... I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Uh, gas isn't too expensive. That's good, at least. Uh, I got a f so he seemed oddly cool with me throwing away that package. So, I kind of feel like we're being set up here. Also, I want to talk to this person if I can. Yeah, let's go park over here and talk to whoever we can. Let's go talk to Molly. Are you Kelsey? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson. My name is Rania. I think they set up oh, a I sexting. See. I'm sorry too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the rain. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. And I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. 
You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? <laughs> it is honest work. I make people happy. Are you a sex worker? Yes. Oh, a she is a dominatrix. I said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. All right. You have something else to say? Spit it out then. I have nothing else to do. It would seem. I know you're curious. Does it feel bad hurting people, even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me with words and with huge handfuls of money. Wow. Has it ever gone wrong with a client? <laughs> no. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them. I gotta get Asnos to play this game. <laughs> that way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon and get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. No need for it to be waterlogged. Yeah, I wear a hoodie and then I throw it away after paying $275 for it. All right, we got that. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see what our next job is. Molly was quite interesting. I liked her a lot. Janus Privacy Solutions offers the best in camera defined. Big fan of Molly. You know, this is really cool, but I, I do feel like your your vision is kind of impaired a bit. And the problem is, is like part of it is you want to see the world. So I'm just going to probably fly like this most of the time. All right, we're going to get on the highway here. Excuse me. Pardon me. All right, so I, I had gotten an upgrade for my car. Yeah, here it is. A red tracer unit for the Hava. It ionizes the Hava exhaust to produce a red contrail. The racers always go for red. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at that. We got, we got little... Uh, that's pretty cool. We got the little red marks behind it now. I could spend all day just flying around in this game. Oh, they did say they need me to get like really high on this. Uh, I knew it. What is? What does he know? Okay, I don't think I think the only way that I can get here is by going is by parking here. Cuz this is where we were before. It sounded like they were implying that you have to figure out a way to get up there on foot. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, let's talk to this Life Corp employee. I'm here to collect Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And oh, my God. Oh, good. I don't have to don't remember let. that. Thank God. You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. All right. Let's go. Wait, Ava's calling me. Who the hell is Ava? Driver 14FC, this is an automated message to inform you that you have received your first and final warning for a delivery violation, misdemeanor number 001. Failure to deliver to recipient through gross negligence and or crisis of conscience. Oh no! Further infractions will result in termination of your employment with Cloudpunk. Please note that if your contract is terminated, remote access to your HAVA will be severed at the point of termination. 
and you will be liable for any loss or damage to you, your body, or any other third parties if you make an unscheduled, uncontrolled landing due to sudden loss of vehicle control. Please reply with yes if you understand. Yes. Audio confirmation of infraction report received. You have been warned. Doesn't Control have anything to say about this? Control is currently unavailable. Oh no! I screwed up, guys. Your face looks familiar. Do you need some stems? No. I don't even know what any of this stuff- Chemical substance triggering a social response in my favor. See, I don't know what any of this stuff actually does yet. Alright, we're gonna sell two of these. Anything else I'm supposed to sell? I don't believe so. Oh wait, we can sell that. Alright. We'll see what this stuff does Thanks. in the future, but right now I, I don't see really feel again. like I need it. Soon. I am so glad that they that they keep that code for me. I would never have remembered that. Uh, B nine six five E. I guess I'm gonna have to start doing my job and and not screwing up as much. I mean, times are hard. I need my money. Oh, here we go. No? Oh, here it is. Hello? The hell? Why is my box talking to me? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and deliver this. Uh, they, they may be doing some kind of sex trafficking or something, but... I need my job. I mean, the economy's... It's rough out there, guys. I, I need my money. I wish I could just, like, steal a school bus all of a sudden. Boom, boom, boom. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Box. How are you today? <laughs> Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. I completely understand. Uh, uh... Are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. I am a dog car. How strange. Hey, fella. You're a box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you. I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world in a way that makes me sad too. I'm gonna How go come? over here right quick. Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame, but it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights, I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. Jazz, it's good exciting. time. Maybe and Evelyn. I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, no offense, driver. None taken. <laughs> What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I work rich, <laughs> I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of course, I would be too rich and too busy to learn to play, but I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh huh. Hey, I played the Ronnie saxophone. lost her home, and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William, we had to move to the city. Wh why? Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can't be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, 
A chef's android body is worth a lot these days. Hey, Zul. I'm loving this game so far. Anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. We're not supposed to speak to them either. I kind of want to go in this sad. apartment. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you will have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely they have the best Android frames there. I want to talk to Evelyn. <laughs> all right. What's up, Evelyn? Do I know you? Do I know you? What? If I knew you, I might not know. Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Oh, this is my are apartment? Are you corp or corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. I don't Shouldn't believe you. Be in you. your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? I want to know if I know you. If we used to know each other. If we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Okay. Let's find Evelyn's punch card and see what's going on over here. I wasn't supposed to come over here, but now I'm really intrigued by what's about to happen with her. Okay, is that her punch card? No, I don't think that was it. Oh, I got a nice little place here. Look at this. Got some beans. Got me a nice little balcony. It's all I could ever want in this world. Beans and a balcony. All right, where where is Evelyn's punch card? Buy upgrades. What does this do? Pizza subscription. Get a random pizza daily for one month. Holy shit. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, plant. Is it? Oh, I love this kind of stuff where you can upgrade your... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys know how much I love games where I can upgrade my... Um, where I can upgrade cities or upgrade my house. I'm going to literally spend all my money on this stuff. Retro game console. This thing is ancient. I kind of want to try it. Okay, well, we're definitely going to buy that first. Ah. Um, then I'm going to get a music player. Nice. I'm going to get a new refrigerator, too. That's all I can get right now. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need more money for the rest of this stuff. <laughs> Does this stuff I is it here? Oh my god, it's here! Look at that! I got me a new fridge. I can't open it. It's just it's purely aesthetic. That's my retro console. That's my music player. Nothing I can do with it, but you know what? It makes my place look cool. That bed is huge. This? Yeah, that is a nice bed. Dude, I would love a house like this. This is so cool. And think about the security. It would be really hard to get up here. Um, where is Evelyn's card in my apartment? Am I going blind? Like, where is this? Or was the punch card that I picked up Evelyn's? That, that might have... I think she said your mailbox. Right? Y'all see a mailbox in here somewhere? I mean, I picked up a card, like, that was on the sink or something. So that might be the card. Why is there blood on my bed? That's a little weird. 
I wish I could run. All right, I'm going to see if that... I'm going to see if maybe the uh, the punch card that I got is the right one. I don't think it is, though. I found the oh, card. You it is. It. Sweet. Thank you. So what is it? A punch card. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875 B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Novalis's safety protocol algorithms, the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. Damn. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry, so the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was, but Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. I'll be your friend. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... Oh, that's why I, would, I need to get all the pages. Any you find. I will. Oh, uh, so there's 20 else. of them, neighbors, right? and I have nine of them we can so look far. Out for each other. Yes. Okay, we're definitely going to get them all. Did I already give her all the punch cards? No. The hell you will. You're not allowed to have other friends except for me. What's up, Kooby? How you doing? By the way, everybody, we will be streaming on Christmas. It's We're going to start... A little bit late for a uh, Friday stream. It's going to be about 7, 7.30ish. Uh, but we're going to be streaming quite a bit over the next month and a half. Like, I've, I'm pretty freed up. So, be expecting a lot of me. <laughs> this face, you will see a lot of it. Okay, what do you want? Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. All right. Uh <laughs> When you get dude, I mess up my emote all the time. Uh let's see here. So I need to get all of these cards. Or actually, not all of these are even cards. So there's only 20 of the cards. I've already found nine of the 20. So I need I need to be picking these up because I'm really curious what this quest ends up doing. But for now, uh, I'm going to try to go over here and pick whatever this is up over here. Because um, it doesn't... I, I can't get over here without some kind of code. So I'm going to go down here, pick up this package, then I'll head back to my car and we'll complete this mission I'm on. Hey, Gaz, good time. What's up, buddy? What are you looking for? Uh, ooh, black sunglass. Oh, my God. This game is like shopping simulator. I can get a purse. I can get black sunglasses. I see you, Corgi. What's up, buddy? Oh, you're, you're trying to do your emote again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sell that. See, I could sell this ruin. Oh, yeah. A well-thumbed copy of some ancient paperback. It has a topless man on the cover. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, that was a Kubi. That was Kubi on the cover right there. Um, this has been formatted, but that just means somebody else might use it. I'm, I probably should hold on to the memory chip. Um, I don't really feel like I need hey, sunglasses. 
Yeah, I don't really feel like I need sunglasses right now. And I don't really know why you buy food in this game. Like, so far, I have not had any, like, damage or anything like that. There's no food bar. That's a, uh, that's a gas bar on the, on the right there. Don't need sunglasses at night? No. Ooh, another naked guy. Hell yeah. Another topless man. I'll be able to sell that and buy some more gear for my uh, apartment. <laughs> now that you're... Yeah. I get the reference. By the way, how is Outer Worlds? I, that is another one that I'm planning on playing at some point in the near future. Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds. Uh, both of them I want to play. And I get both of them incredibly confused with each other all the time. Cause they both came out like right around the same time. They're both like space sci-fi kind of games in a way. It's a very confusing. I feel like they should have coordinated that a little bit better. <laughs> Be like, y you're coming out in January? Well, I'm gonna come out in July. That way nobody's actually confused. You loved Outer Wilds, it's an indie puzzle adventure game. You liked Outer Worlds a lot, it's Fallout in Space. Only one is made by Obsidian. Yeah, I feel like I would enjoy both of them. Alright, let's go. So we definitely need to find all those punch cards. Um, I still need to play all the Fallout games. We played New Vegas, and then I never was able to beat it because the game just kept crashing in the end on my old piece of garbage PC. You love you some puzzles? I like puzzles too, whenever I can quickly figure out the answers. I feel like I should be like stopping everywhere I can to get these things, but we can always check out the map, so. Well, actually, no, we know there's a hologram thing over here. Let, let's stop at this little parking space here. Whoop, no, that's not how to, that's not how to drive. Ah! You never really liked Fallout? I really liked what I played of um, New Vegas. Um, just once the game started crashing, that really pissed me off. But I, to be fair, it was probably like all the mods that I put on there too. I was trying to like super mod a game on my really shitty PC when I still had that one. You're gonna struggle a lot with Outer Wilds because there's tons of complicated and an ever-changing map and the puzzle solving is extremely ambiguous. That's why I have you here, Mono. <laughs> that's why I uh, have you here. That That's the point. All right, uh, pick up all the scraps. Okay. So I think these are your, yeah, these must be the hollow tapes. Although I don't know how I can get over here. Let's see. Mono ever left, Llama would be screwed with puzzle games. I would just stop playing them. I wouldn't be screwed. I would just stop playing them altogether. <laughs> That's not completely true, but sort of is. All right, what's over here? Just like Ghost of Tsushima, I'm not even like trying to play the main story at this point. Ooh, I got a tenth punch card. We've got to get all the punch cards at some point. Come visit us at Peterwitz Watching Clock Shop. We have the. Cybernetic arm. $5,880. Jeez. Still here, you just keep zoning out, watch the Oh, I understand. It's an underground magazine, How to Hide Your ID Chip from Corpsec, the city's 10 best illegal raves. I feel like we should buy this. 
But I really want to... Dude, this cybernetic arm. How am I ever going to buy that? But I'm going to buy this magazine. Just because it's got to be there for a reason, right? That's got to be there for a reason. I don't, I don't know what that reason is, but it's got to be there for a reason. How do you get money? Doing jobs, uh, picking up things like this and selling it. Uh, picking up scraps and selling it. Doing all these different jobs. Thanks, Mr. Witz. As the MP3 said to the wave, adios. <laughs> I love the I love the joke. All right, what do we got over here? A floppy disk, a rare video game disk. A piece of plastic with a label that is barely legible. I'm pretty sure this is a video game too, but it's floppy. I guess it could be made out of magnetic tape like the other one, although this is flat. It's called Darkmare. I wonder if that really was the best name they could come up with. I So since I can't sell that, how much you guys want to bet? Yeah, that, I was thinking it would work on my retro console. That's pretty cool. If I could play a retro game on here. There is something over here, but I don't see how I can get across to it. Oh, wait. There is a whole little parking strip over here, right? Or a walking strip. Boom, boom. Remember when this was supposed to be the world of the year 2000? Like, we were supposed to already be like 20 years into this kind of world. I think they got that wrong, actually. Alright, what's over here? I already have no idea where my car is, by the way. Ooh, another uh, punch card for Evelyn. All right. We definitely got to get all these. Uh, it looks like there's another one over here, possibly. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab this one. Nope. Yeah, th we were, like, supposed to be in the world of the Jetsons. And that did not happen. Wait, where's the elevator? I thought there was an elevator over here. There is an elevator that goes here, right? Oh, there it is. Why did the music suddenly stop? That's a little creepy. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see here. So if we go over this way. Another floppy, maybe? Yeah, there's another floppy. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can find our way back to the car. <laughs> That's going to be pretty difficult. Boom, 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 boom. Get me up there. Wait, is my car over there? Hang on. Oh, it was. My car's over that way, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. All right, come on. Go back down. I want to get off this rock. Help! I think this is my car over here. I hope it's my car. If not, I'm stealing somebody else's car. All right. All right, let's go turn this mission in. Ow. 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 <laughs> There's some stuff over here, too. Hmm. 
Where's the parking area though? See, there's two there's two of these holograms here. I think I think this is the parking that we gotta go on. Doesn't that actually hurt your car? There is a car mechanic, but I don't see where like you have a life bar or, or anything. I haven't I haven't seen anything hurt me yet. But you do have to pay for repairs, so I, I assume at some point, yes, it'll hurt you. This game is just me trying to get all the collectibles. Alright, that'll be good a good selling thing. There's a guy to talk to over here. I really want to turn up the music. Uh, let's see. Douglas the Postman. Hi, so what is your star sign, please? I don't know. Why do you ask? I am instigating a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit? Do you mean when I fell from <laughs> heaven? Affirmative. I require an answer, humanoid. <laughs> I'm not really interested. Sorry. I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. <laughs> Do you want some advice? <laughs> Affirmative. If you want to talk to someone you like, try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am Douglas. Name, please. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania, please touch my carbon fiber endoframe. Why would I do that, Douglas? Because it's made of boyfriend material. Okay, that is a little funny. But I'm afraid <laughs> you're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. Oh my god. I'm not even looking anyway. Very well. I shall continue to be alone. Oh, Douglas, I'll take you to Bone Town. Maybe you can try this dating agency, Douglas. Please, I am not so desperate. I am currently rated highly desirable in my range. Are there many other available androids in your range? May I have the flyer, please? Perhaps I will try the dating agency. Good luck, Douglas. Oh, Thank that's you, why you want to keep... I can afford you a reward. Oh, wow. You can have my optimal dating ritual instigation line or some credits. Hmm, the line is tempting. I think I'll take the limbs. That's why we... Because we got a reward for that. Okay, so that's why we want to pick up stuff. Because we can complete these little side quests without them telling you exactly word for word what you got to do. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so we're going to grab this thing. We now have 13 of the 20 we need. Are there any more on this island? Yeah, there is. Uh, we want to go this way down the walkway and we should be able to get another one. Man, figured we might as well get them all right now. As I see them, I'm not going to go out of my way to find them. Feels like everybody's wearing sunglasses, so maybe I should also conform and wear sunglasses. I also hope that I can get better clothes at some point. That would be nice. There's a drug dealer. Because we all just want to be big rock stars. Oh, look at this. The Roadhouse. I want to get in the Roadhouse. Girls, girls, girls. Oh, this is a strip club. This game would be better if it let me in. Much better game if it would let me in the strip club. That's basically how I, how I judge any game these days. It, like, some people judge games on can you pet the dog or can't you. I judge games based on can you enter the strip club or can't you. This game, unfortunately, you cannot. Two out of ten. I'm kidding. Kinda. Uh, let's see. 
At least this will be really easy. Look at how many... Oh my god, there's so many of these things, like, over here in Hobbs Thoroughfare. And a few in Diamond Hills. So let's go... Let's go give this to Avalon Heights, and then we'll we'll head over there and see how many of these punch cards we can find. Because I got a feeling there's going to be more punch cards than there are needed for this mission. Discovered Avalon Heights. Oh, sorry, officer. So sorry. Oh, man. Where do I park on this thing? Wait, where do I park on Avalon Heights? All right, it looks like... I wish I could put, like, a little dot on my thing. Uh, looks like I got to park. Let's see if I turn to the right. Yeah. Looks like I should be, like, right on it. You'll put a dot on my thing? Oh, my. Oh my. So yeah, we're going to be playing this the rest of tonight and a lot of tomorrow. I don't know how long this game... This game called for eight to nine hours. I think it's going to take us substantially more just because I'm doing everything I can. Um, no, this is not a Ghost of Tsushima thing where I'm going to try to 100% or anything, but what I come across, I'm definitely going to try to do. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Uh, deliver payload to Reginald Buckley. I can do that. Oh my god, we're going way up there. Boom, boom. Traffic accidents reported in sectors one, two... What is that? A used battery. The uranium in this battery hasn't fully degraded yet. Should yield in some limbs if I sell it to a vendor. Okay, so the things that you can sell to a vendor... Uh, or the things that you should sell to a vendor... It looks like they tell you, sell it to a vendor. I could sell, like, this in magazine, but it doesn't have that little thing that says, could get some limbs if I sell it. So I think, like, this electronics... So I think everything else you want to hold on to for side quest reasons. The model I'm printing is designed to test certain aspects of a printer to dial settings in. First print, and it's flawless. Nice, dude. I'm, I'm excited to see the kind of things that you end up building. I uh, guess I go... Maybe I go through here. It doesn't look like you need to eat in this game so far. Yeah. There's a punch card over here, I think. No, something else. A Corsac Flyer. They're trying to recruit for their informant program. Gray text on a dark gray background. Hmm. And there's something else over here. Let's, let's just do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Another memory chip, and there's Reginald Buckley. Hello, we have a delivery. His name is William. I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no, I am a refuse disposal officer. 
with cleaning functions. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Oh, Sorry will for what? <laughs> <laughs> to be the junior William thought that he was going to be uh, me over to Mr. Buckley. some high-end rich guy. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. Oh, fair enough. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. Goodbye. Vehicle upgrade unlocked speed booster. So now what you have to do, so when you do these missions, you get money and you also get upgrades like to your car and stuff. And you need to go to a merchant and you can upgrade your car with uh, with that. So we got like the red smoke, we got an antenna. Those are just uh, like cosmetic stuff. This looks to be like the first actual upgrade of my car. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Is there anything else over here? I mean, there's a lot of stuff down this way. Um, I mean, we probably should go through all of this and see what we can get. Do you miss William? I do not. I mean, it was just like okay. literally two minutes Me ago. Neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. <laughs> Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. Oh, I gotta go down in order to get... Okay. I was like, where's that little thing? Alright, but it does look like we got something over here. <laughs> Some electronics, yep. Broken augments. Uh, these augments have been removed. Faulty, I guess. This one has hair on it. See, you can sell this, but I think that we might want to hold on to it. Because I think it might have something to do with a side quest. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, I think we're on the right floor now. The map is a little bit weird at times, trying to figure out where things are. All right, we got some electronics. And there's some more stuff over here. We'll come back to this. Uh, let's go to my car and head back to our apartment, maybe? Actually, I want to go to Hobbs, uh, because if we're going to go back to my apartment, it looks like there's a lot of those... Um, punch cards and we can go ahead and do that and then um because evelyn's over at our apartment anyway all right so let's see so i'm i'm this way i need to basically go backwards That is one little negative. I, I think that they should allow you to put like a waypoint on the on the map. I mean, it's not it's not like a monumental deal, but it would be nice. Actually, let's park right here and we can pick up all of this. No, well, there's only one thing over there, and it's not a card. Um. All right, so we need to. God, I wish you. I really wish you could do a uh, waypoint.
Yeah, I'm just avoiding traffic by flying really high. I guess we need to go up here first. We're gonna go to the mechanic first and see what ha what I can do to my car. I think maybe flying high actually might reduce your fuel a little bit. I'm not real sure, but. All right, what do we got? Uh, repair. Oh, now I don't have enough to do this. Reduce the vapor in the drive shaft so fast that the Oregon instantly vaporizes UZ to activate while driving. Damn. All right, we'll come back for that. I shouldn't have repaired my car, then I would have been able to do it. What parking lot do I want to go on? All right, I want to just go straight ahead. All right, we should be able to find a merchant though and sell some stuff. Oh, and I just got I, I just got money for finding a new area. Get the followers I deserve. Guys, you heard the game. If you're not following the stream, hit that follow button so I can get the followers that I deserve. The game told you to do that. Don't listen to me. Listen to the video game. Uh, Let's see. Let's go over this way. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. Another girl club. You can't trust video. Yeah, exactly. There's the lolly club. Why won't you let me in? Damn it. I want to see block strippers. I've never wanted anything more, actually. Chessboard? No. Class steel parts. that use battery all right we can sell all that stuff all right so i have 15 punch cards i need to make it over let's go over to this no nah, i guess we can just walk this way because there's stuff in the middle too How do I get over there? Oh, this is really confusing on how to navigate this. I think I gotta go down to this thing over here. All right, let's talk to the merchant. Water, candy bar, or drink. Let's sell what we can. Uh, maybe I can sell this to a vendor. Uh, maybe I can sell this to a vendor. Should get some parts for a vendor. I don't want to sell any of this other stuff, though. I don't think. Yeah. Thanks. I look for. Okay. It looks like if I go straight into the left, we can go grab this thing. But yeah, um, if anybody's watching this wondering if I recommend this game, absolutely. I think this is fantastic. And we haven't really even gotten into the real big lore of the game that I, 
I, I feel like there's a really strong backstory that we haven't even really scratched the surface of. How do I get... There's like 15 different levels here. Here's another one. So we got 16 and 20 of these punch cards. I really want to find all 20 of the punch cards before I go back to Evelyn. Oh, I think I ride that elevator, actually. All right, so that's 17. Imagine if we had a world like this. That's so crazy. I can say fairly confidently we probably will never have a world like this. Because people are like way too stuck in their ways. And they're like, meh, I don't like change. Don't give me change. I don't want change. Oh, I see. So I'm like unlocking. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. So I got 18 punch cards. Oh, I can't. So I can't talk to that guy. Well, screw you too, buddy. God, I'm never gonna find my way back to my car. Oh, this is a problem. Okay. I think I'm gonna go up here. Actually, it looks like you can probably like come over here, right? and pick that up. Hang on. This may not be as complicated as I was making it. But no, I definitely want to go the other way. Elon Cosmetic Procedures. Change your face. Change your name. Change your face. Change your life. Uh, let's go a little bit forward, I think. Yep, I think we may have found it. Oh, that's another one of the Grey Tex Corsac Flyers. Okay. Not what I wanted, but I'll definitely take it. I think we're about to be like at 19 of 20 of these punch cards, and I'm going to just have to find the other one. Yep. So we're going we're gonna to be at 19 now. All right, let's see. Uh, the other one might be right here, but I don't think I can access that because I remember there wasn't a way to get over there. Uh, there's a few over here in Diamond Hills that we might, if I park right there. Yeah, let's head over to Diamond Hills. I, I think that might be one that I might be able to do. Uh, let's head back over. So how am I going to get over? Uh, go this way, come back that. Okay. I do wish that you could fast travel to your car. I, th I think that would be a really good quality of life um, update. Allow you to put waypoints on the map and allow you to fast travel to your car. I, I think those would be two updates that would make this game even better. I, the game's already really good, but that would make it better in my mind, personally. I mean, who am I to tell 
a game developer what to do with their game. But if, if I were to give feedback, those would be my main two. I want to see that show. Alright. Uh, okay, so let's go to the mechanic right quick. So we're going to turn right. Because I can go get that upgrade for my car now. Oh my god, look how fast I can go now. You know, I probably should not be going that fast in my car. Like, ever. <laughs> I'm already a terrible driver. Alright. Uh, we just have to go straight into the right. A little bit to the left. Come on, get up. Hey, we got the 20th punch card. Nice. Also, we got an NPC over here. Let me go talk to him right quick. Boom, 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 boom. It's a really, really rad game. What's up, dude? Hey, delivery driver. What up? Hey, engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? No. Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. It's something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. And last week, I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. The road? There's no the roads. <laughs> you fly. It's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh, yeah. I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Dude, there are a lot of trophies in this game. <laughs> or a lot of achievements. I'm sorry. I'm on Steam. It seems like every time I talk to somebody, it's an achievement. All right. All right. Let's go back to our apartment. We're actually going to do a main mission. I, I literally feel like I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima all over again with these side quests. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. All right. To infinity and beyond.
All right, so we're gonna return this to Evelyn, go back to our apartment. I should have enough money to do a little bit more upgrades. I have a feeling that those people are gonna be very upset that I uh, did not deliver that one package. But I mean, it was ticking like a bomb. I, I was not about to deliver that package. We have morals here on the White Llama Show, damn it. Oh, Evelyn. Guess what I got for you. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizich locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. Interesting. I need more time and more punch cards. Oh, we got to find more punch time. cards. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I got to do it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm committed at this point. I have to get all the punch cards. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly ah, fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less cool. clinical. Aww. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah. Not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Whoa, uh, what? Do what? me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. No, Ugh, you're not supposed to not tell me that. Good. Come on, we should get back to work. <laughs> if I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror. Or something. No, I've already decked out my apartment. Now, Now the only thing that I can get... Oh, I can buy a lamp now. Okay. So I need to get a random pizza subscription as well as a lamp. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. Oh, am I going to get to so go in a strip just club? go to the door and... <laughs> Not going to lie to you, kid. This one is going to be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? Oh my god, am I going to be able to go into a strip club? Because that's fantastic. It's all I've ever wanted from a video game. No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people. What so do you think this is, say. GTA? Powerful people? Yes. This is Let's GTA 6. See their very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You will have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah. This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. If you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. All right. So they're going to forgive me for not delivering that bomb. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've been to some good ones. You just gotta be really picky on which ones you go to, but I've been to some good ones. Let's see here. Uh, so actually, it looks like I went to the right place. Okay. Just the wrong parking lot. All right, how do I get off this thing? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what I just picked up. We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec? We don't look like undercover corpse sec. What would undercover corpse sec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? <laughs> Talking too much? Bingo. You're learning fast, Camus. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm terrible at driving. Oh, I think I just realized what my health bar is. I think it's that blue ring uh, around the um, around the map. I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I do. I need some. I, I need to learn how to fly. I do. I might have to stop at a mechanic. I'm not doing so hot. Oh god. They don't call you Sir Crash a lot for nothing. Wait, so Sir Crash a lot is gonna wow. teach me how to fly? Damn it. Oh, I don't have enough money to do that. Never mind. Well, we better not crash. That's that's the moral of this story. I think it would be best to park on the other side of the building, actually. <laughs> you can take off, you can stay in the air from one place to another. What else do I need to know? Uh, how not to run into things, preferably. Ask you to come back down. Noted. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got a few of these hollow decks around here. I mean, you could just crash. I mean, that, that's a good way to come down. Ooh, what is that? I just got an ocarina. This is an ocarina. My mom played one like this when I was young. I guess someone lost it. It's dirty, but I think it still works. Oh my god. I got an oak arena. I wonder if I could be like, do, 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 Yeah, I've never played oak arena of time, but I totally, or I never finished oak arena of time, but I know that song. It's a trading card. Wow, gold series. This one is pretty rare. Uh, I wonder if Joe liked the picture they used on this card. This must be from a year, few years back. He looks a lot younger. Will play Song of Storms? Most likely. Most likely. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, we got a bouncer. Nice. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. 
Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. Jeez. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Tram and all bottles. Corpsec aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. I think I have some, actually. Don't I have some juice? No, I just have coolant. All right, where do I get the juice at? Oh, probably from the drug dealer. Drug dealer on speed dial. Big narco. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Uh, got you some juice. Thanks. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. All right, let's go show this guy we're not a cop. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Oh my God, we're actually gonna go in. Oh, <gasps> we're going into the club, boys. Here we go. Wait, this is the outside of a club. Oh wait. Oh, this is the inside of a club. Why is it raining inside the club? Oh, it's a rooftop club. Okay. Like, why, are, why is it raining in the club? Oh, we're partying now. I better go pick this up before I'm not able to. Hey, what's up, DJ? Play me a song. All right, Lomo, what's up, buddy? I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You are not the con line. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? Sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nivalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Damn. So I survived, like, I allowed one person to not, uh, d I didn't deliver what I think is a bomb. Alright, I'm definitely leaving this club. That's a little seedy for me. I guess we're gonna go with the rest of this playthrough with the understanding that we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna deliver shit and not ask questions. I think that's how you're supposed to approach this game. But, like, they do give you some choices in this. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name. It's got to be the hacker collective. Or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemist. Should I look it up? <laughs> we have an incoming call. All right. You there? Yeah. Ready for another job. Sure. Sure thing. 
Hey, Control. What is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control Never box. Slow Joe. Camus, are you there? Here. Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemist. <laughs> you're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Oh, we need to overclock him. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. This is really getting interesting. What's up, uh, Milia Ao? You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. I don't think so. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. I I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. Interesting. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Hmm. There's some really deep stuff going on over here. I don't know how I'm going to get over here. It doesn't look like there's any parking spots over this way. Alright, let's go on to our next job. Oh, I could park here and get some stuff, though. Another punch car? This privacy solutions offers the best in camera-defying subdermal face obfuscation technology. Janus. Get your business face on. Some electronics. Is that it on this island? No, there's one more thing that I can get over here. All these collectibles are driving me insane. Because I see collectibles and just me, I'm wired and I'm like, I got to get them all. Ooh, I could sell that book. Another topless man. Uh, ooh, red boots. Hey, I could get some red boots. That's what I want. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Speed booster, rare video game disc, ocarina, in magazine. No, I want to keep all of this stuff. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can sell that to a vendor. Probably want to hold on to that, but I could probably... Uh, we might want to hold on to one of these books. Wait, I could wear a dress for fourteen hundred dollars. Why would you? Thanks. Hey, come back in. Why would anybody spend that kind of money? That's obscene.
My hope is that after you beat this game, this is one of those games where you can continue to play afterwards. Because there are a lot of collectibles here. Never mind, that blue thing has nothing to do with uh, my health bar. It's my speed boost. Getting a lot better at driving. Okay, well, you know, that wasn't... I, I didn't mean to crash right after I told you guys that, but, you know. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? I have no idea. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grab lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? Nope. I, <laughs> I tuned you out long ago. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're <laughs> not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. All right. Thank you. Ooh, a vehicle unlock has come out. Uh, yellow tracer. So instead of red, I could have yellow tracer, basically. Um, no, I don't think I really want that. I, I like the red one just fine. Oh, ow, ow, ow! No! Jeez! Yo, Magic, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Oh, God. Okay, I need to get some fuel. Need to get some fuel. I'm not a terrible driver. I'm just not a good driver. All right, here we go. Give me some gas. Get me some gas. There we go. I don't know what you're talking about, Zul. Look at that. I, I just nudged that car. That, That's it. I didn't crash into the car. I nudged him lovingly. All right. Uh, sending him for terrible? I don't, I, I don't know what you mean. Okay, where am I supposed to park this? Where is Never Slow Joe? Are you part of the race? Oh. I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? <laughs> the race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Oh, no. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. No failures. Well, Got it, sir. Part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. All right, we'll do, I'm not sir. Not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars. Uh, loving this game so far. Drivers. Absolutely loving it. There's like this deep backstory that we haven't even really gotten into yet. But there's like hidden hacker groups and stuff like that that we haven't found. And uh, but right now on the surface, we're just a delivery driver and. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know where this driver is. Hmm. I never slow Joe. Where is he? Maybe he's up. There he is. Oh, I guess I gotta get out of my car. That sucks. 
I should be able to just drop off what I need right there. Oh well. It'll let me explore and get some of these extra collectibles. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, a cassette tape. A rare video game tape. Ooh. I think this is some kind of ancient storage medium. The front cover has some guys in old-fashioned clothes fighting each other. It's pretty well preserved. Maybe some collector threw it out by mistake. Yeah, we got we gotta go back to our apartment and see if we can play these retro games. What's oh it's Teco! We we talked to somebody about this guy, I think. Hey Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding Nari? No. I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura, we had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivalis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities, this is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see Are they saying, trying to say the whole world was destroyed left, by global warming? It was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day, it is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. All right. Looks like I got a little tapey poo over here, maybe. Oh no, it's up somewhere. Alright, I gotta find another elevator or something. Uh, it looks like there might be one over this way. Somewhere. This way, maybe? Is it coming down? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get off over where? Over here? One more punch card, and let's go see Never Slow Joe. He's gonna be very happy that we got him his stuff. There you go. Are you never slow, Joe? Did I work today? Yep. No, I am sure did. Very slow, Joe. Unfortunately. You got my <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. Ooh. These converters are worth a lot of money. 
They sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe, here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you'd drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Uh, that's no good. My name's no good? Wait, you're making fun of my name, you asshole? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. Right. Why didn't you call and tell me you were streaming then? I didn't know I was going to be streaming until literally 30 minutes before I, before I started. <laughs> like, I had no idea. <laughs> oh, man. I was actually going to take off today, and but lately I've been fired up about streaming and really enjoying it again. I am back. So I'm I'm on usually about five or six on days a week now. Anya. I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? I don't know. Probably the Mr. Emmett mechanic man. I don't want to get in trouble at work anymore. I mean, we stopped the bomb from going off. But I don't want them to fire me. I mean, times are times are tough. We got we got to make that loot. Uh, okay, let's go back to my car. We'll go sell that, and then I'm gonna after I close this mission out, I'm gonna take about a three minute break, grab a drink. We've been going about three hours now, and I really need to get better at taking breaks. It's bad to be just sitting around for <laughs> four or five hours at a time without getting up. But yeah, this game is really, really fun. Um, it is the cyberpunk that I needed before I play cyberpunk. Alright, bring back broken... Sell broken drive converter or bring it back to Emmett. Wait, was the sell the broken drive converter what I was supposed to do? I, I, think, I think I'm supposed to bring it back to Emmett. I guess I should have... I am it, okay. That's what I thought. I, I was like, I don't want to do what I'm not supposed to. Ow. Oh, God. Yo, Emmett, I got something for you. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award <laughs> a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire. Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. All right, Emmett, you got anything for me? Upgrade your neural augment to the macula today. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No, if you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Oh, we're going to Starbucks. Gonna, I wonder if uh, Starbucks is expensive in the future like this. Ow! <laughs> 
Oh god, my car is gonna blow up at some point. I don't know if it actually does or not, but... I got a bad feeling it's gonna blow up. Oh yeah, I did want to take a quick break right quick. Let's do that. Let's take a uh, quick little five minute break here. Probably more like three. Let's take a quick three minute break. Uh, use the bathroom, grab a drink, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in about three minutes. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the White Llama Show. We're playing some Cloud Punk, having a great time with it. Uh, there's some secret little backstory here that we're starting to uncover. Secret mystery hacker groups. We're going to get some coffee right now, and uh, we're going to listen to our dog Andromedus uh, tell us all that it learned when it did research on the dark web. I know you're as confused as I am. Let's keep going. Let me turn on the game sound and we will continue our playthrough of Cloudpunk. Fantastic game so far. If it was just driving around like this, I would love it. Vehicle upgrade unlocked Plasteel bumpers. Oh my god! Okay, we, we, we gotta get some upgrades going on here. Alright, what's up, Control? Driver 14 MC, you can't be bumping that hopper around the city like that. Sorry. Gets worse. I can't get you out of the standard Cloud Punk Hobba damage penalty fine. Penalty fine? Oh no. Oh, my car's on fire. Oh no! <laughs> my car's on fire. I got I need it to be fixed. I don't have enough money to fix it. It might put some more in. Oh, I, I definitely need that eventually. I need $404 in order to fix my car. And I don't have it. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna, I, I need to not hit anything. Yeah, I. this is the first time I've seen it where it's a thing. We gotta be really careful because I gotta get enough money to fix my car now. Oh boy, we we gotta we gotta be careful. Uh, let's go 
over this way. Old Town. Maybe in Old Town the repairs cost less. Oh god. Oh no! Maybe, maybe they cost less over here. <laughs> maybe I could be okay. Let's see. Nope. Still costs like $450. Oh, God. Okay, we got to be more careful just in general. When I, whenever I eventually fix my car, we've got to be a lot more careful. Dude, I might legitimately sell my, like, speed thing for, like, $900. Because that's how I, I get in trouble, is I run into things going really fast. Uh, we need to go up here. Alright. Dude, my car is, like, making weird noises like it's about to blow up. Metro Hub Minora. Oh, this is like the slums. What's up, Dynamite hey, Simpson? Come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. How much you paying much me? Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages. We're farmers. <laughs> this guy's kind of a music. dick. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? <laughs> I grew up playing Bach. <laughs> so you're a musician. Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Werewolves. Predatory men. Oh. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. Dolly Parton is still going it. in the future? It from home. Damn. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. Show me, really me the money. This? Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. We have enough to fix my car now. And Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, that's why I got the blue flower. Okay, so that gives me Bye. money. So see, little items that you pick up throughout the game, you make money with them, or you complete side quests. Mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. Ah, uh, sucker. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Cass. What a sucker. Got him. Remote detonator. What? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. What? This looks like some sort of remote detonator. We should take this to the authorities. Who are the authorities in the city? Is there only Corpsec? Well, we need to take it somewhere safe. I mean, we can't just press the button, right? I mean, right? I totally clicked on it just to see. You okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? 
No, from the steps. My name's Hall, though. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Well, thank you. No! Don't take money business. away from me! You know, I, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula. I didn't authorize that. Maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. I hate that they just took my money without asking if I was cool with it. Now, how do I get over here? Oh, I need to go to the authorities right quick. We got to hand in that uh, detonator. What in the hell is this thing? It's like some kind of pussycat club. I want to go into the pussycat club. Let me in. Wait, what if they what if they think I'm the one with the bomb and then they arrest me? Oh, I'm not sure I should turn this in. All right, here we go. Hi. I uh found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be Give it to me now. Yes, I was just going to. Give me some I money. You. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No, don't press it. No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? He just pressed I the button. just said... Nothing happened again. Stop, Stop pressing the button. Pressing the button. Yeah, what she Man, said. I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says... Please don't press this button again. <laughs> I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. That's Does funny. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. All right, at least give me some money. Oh, they just gave me an achievement for it. Okay. All right, I'll take an achievement. Fine, fine, fine. My guess is I head up and then maybe they'll let me. Oh, I see. We're going to try to go to that cafe over there. Do I have anything to sell to a merchant? Here's the fisherman. Popular magazine in the Marrow. They say... This says they used to catch giant glowing green fish in the bay before Corpsec started charging a thousand limbs for a permit. Yellow glasses. Maybe when I have way more money. Um, wait, am I even wearing these shoes? I don't think I am. I don't even know why I picked it up. Uh, see, I don't know if I should sell these. I feel like all of these I should hold on to. Thanks. I look forward to Oh, I see. That's where I'm going. All right, let's talk to Danya first. Excuse me. I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't <laughs> make sense. 
It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Just give me some money. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory and the executable data- People played games on screens? It's what? It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. The past was weird. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. That's what Mario meant. So through the game, oh. violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will. I got another one. Keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people... Oh, let's go. Maybe another time. No! Just the limbs are fine. I wanna... No, I wanted to play the video game. I have another one. This time, I'm sure it's a game. It's on magnetic tape again, but just one big flat disc. A floppy? Give it here. Oh yes, I know this one. Much quicker to load than the tapes. This is Darkmare. What's it about? It's a kind of RPG. Rocket propelled grenade? So it's a military game. No, no. It's a real playing game. You play it through the real life of a person. In this case, though, it's the real life of a dungeon exploring adventurer with a sword and armor. I assume you mainly hit things with your sword? Yes and no. These games often had quite complex systems. Statistics for your strength and dexterity and so on. All measured with numbers. Why did people stop playing those sorts of games? Some people never did. I'm in some classic game clubs. Illicit meetups where we play board and card games and classics like this. It's called PAX. Why are they illicit? <laughs> Co-ops own the rights to these games, even the really old ones. In our club, we had to pool our finances for a year for a chess license. That's the only official one we could afford. That's why I had the games behind the counter. Is that why these old games hold such value then? Because they're illegal? That's not the only reason. These games define our past. They were our escapism and our sucker for a thousand years. A hundred thousand. We resolved conflict, explored ideas, went on adventures, and created whole new worlds with these games. We can't let the medium slip away from the people who need it most. Pretty idealistic for a street peddler. I just really like games. They're important. All right, you convinced me. I'm not a big Maybe fan of games. Um, Dark Mare. I'll start loading it up. Just not After really my I thing. My shift. Uh, where is that? There you go. So I feel like this game, like a backstory, is this is like a world after global warming like destroyed the planet, and this is why people are living. Because they said that a city like went into the sea. They said this guy from Tokyo, like, they had to move once the sun got too bright. Like, they're not saying it, but I kind of feel like it's some kind of world post-bad global warming. I could be wrong, but it, it feels that way. I mean, look, there's the sea. This city's starting to get taken over by uh, high tides. Maybe the polar ice, ca ice caps have melted. 
Just a guess, but it feels that way. Bum, 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 bum. Let's talk to the coffee guy. I saw you looking at me from over there. Yeah, I was. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Whoa. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. I'm not fucking hey, you. Uh, wait up. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, wanna do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? Sex. We could... Bone. Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Horizontal Yahtzee. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo? Oh. Uh. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. You're gonna have to go with if the I meat. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. You're like 75, you pervert. You're a freaking pervert, bro. I'm way too young for you. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Uh, get me the cheapest shit you got. <laughs> uh, we said we wanted coffee, so I don't think that we're gonna get... Like the nice shit. We're gonna get the coffee. Good. Yeah. Tastier than maggot pizza is what it said. That's pretty sweet. Also gonna get one of those. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Alright, I'm guessing we find our way back to the car, maybe. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. <laughs> I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Uh, we need to go over this way. Offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? 
I checked my balance, and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,570.75 days ago. <laughs> Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Mm. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. No, it really doesn't. Vehicle upgrade, vertical repulsor. I wonder what that is. Guys, we picked up a human hand. I don't know if y'all saw that. This appears to be, oh no, this is someone's hand. They're not supposed to just throw a biological limb in the garbage. And appears to be wearing a wedding ring too. Should I keep this? I guess someone might want it back. It's a little disturbing. Now there should be something here and for some reason it's not. Maybe it's on a different level though. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Here's 100 limbs. No. no. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave. <laughs> and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. Fair enough. Alright. Thank you, Norman. Alright, we gotta find an elevator. Driver 14FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for what? you. What? Have you seen the bids? 
No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I gotta talk to Jimmy. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. See, Control's really shady, but yet I really want to work hard for him. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. All right. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Radia. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk. See, there's the uh, Ghost of Tsushima connection to this game. <laughs> if they're not happy with that, they can the sake. Care. Cheers. Fess All right. Control. All right, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know. Everyone. Yeah, does. I did. I did find a spare hand. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. Oh, your hands. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure, I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Wonder what else he could Near do with his hands. My hand for it. Wink, then wink. When I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I don't I'm know. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna. I got a. I got a hand if you want it. Wait, I got. I do have a hand. <laughs> like you could have. You could have the the broken hand that I found. All right, what up, Gil? Are you the delivery person? Rania. Yeah, I'm to take your package. Giggity. It's everything. The limbs, com, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay, then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. All right, take it easy, Gil. All right, so let's hop on an elevator, get to our car, and deliver the package. I don't know where I'm delivering it. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? Yep. He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. Airport. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. That sucks. Before he gave you all his possessions. Oh. He knew? Oh, that's why I need electron. Oh, man. He knew. I don't get it. So I shouldn't sell the electronics. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? 
You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. All right, I'm I I'm not going to sell anything from now on. Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, turn it to a cloud punk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Yeah. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? I well, guess so. Everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us Ooh, to give it to Cloudpunk. Oh, God, they had these choices. I could, uh, like, Gil wanted me to give it. And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Yeah, we could or get in real bad trouble. trouble. Quiet for now, chemists. I have to think. All right, so the last time when we had a choice, I dropped what I think was a bomb somewhere else. I think this time I'm going to give this to uh, Cloudpunk. Being a delivery driver? No, paying off a dead man's debts. At least we won't get in trouble. I hate this city. I feel like we did the right thing there. Ooh, I can get a fish tank now. If that mission me meant that I get a fish tank, totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had a real ethical dilemma there. Uh, either either give all of his stuff to his family or pay off his debt and people will be happy with my job. Uh, are you there? And I chose to do yeah. good on my job. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know? Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is... Confused. There's some stuff uh, over here I want to check out. Nav point. Collect the package, 14 FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Oh my god, what's wrong with this guy? Okay, Let, let's go get these other items that I found over here. Something's wrong with control, and I'm really curious why. Like, maybe they're starting to put some pressure on him at work. I don't know. Let's see, we got... Can you move out of the way so I can pick that up? Thank you. Yeah, I definitely feel like we, sh we should stop selling things because, like, you can fix lifts and stuff. Let, let me check this out. So, we, we pick up some electronics, and then they say maybe you can sell it to a vendor. But then we found a place where we could fix the, um, fix a lift with electronics. So, because of that... I don't think it's worth selling anything because we might be able to fix things with said electronics even though they tell me to get rid of it. Now there might be some random items that might still be worth selling, but to this point, since I don't know, I don't want to sell something and then need it later, so. I hope I can get a different car at some point, that would be really cool. Um, they did say that there's some kind of upgrade for my car, so we might want to check out how much that would be. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of places, a bunch of things over here in the sewers as well. I think instead of doing my delivery, I'm going to go over here to the sewers and see if I can get some of these, uh, punch cards. Hey, 14FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hoffa, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Thank you. Oh my god, I got bonus money for that? Nice. I wish people would pay me money for taking care of my car. I just take care of my car because it's my car. A 
bum 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 Oh, there's another gang member. Hey, Block 40, are you still fighting the system? Hey, it's Cowpunk. Damn right we are. We're fucking this shit up. How exactly are you fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. Uh. What's the matter, Cloudpunk? Our speech too fresh for you? Um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do. It's about what we do and how we do it. I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The corpse don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. You got a problem with that, Cloudpunk? With you making a playground for kids? No, I think it's kind of amazing. You hear that, Razor? She thinks I'm amazing. You're all right, Cloudpunk. You ever get yourself a small human, you bring them here to play on the swings. Noted. If I ever steal a human kid, I will totally bring them to you. So they're a gang that's building playgrounds for children. What is that? Broken augments. Um, let's go this way, I guess. Yo, can you let me in? All right. Let's see, how can I get this? So it looks like I can just go around to that. I'm not going to be able to get through here yet. Well, I might be able to go up. We might want to try that, but let me go around here first. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to end up having to get all these punch cards just to see what happens. I mean, I'm just way too curious now. All right, where did that bring me? That brought me over here so we can get that. And then I might be able to come over this way. All right, and go through here, see where that leads. I think that's just going to lead on the other side, right? Yeah, so I can't I can't get through here yet. I don't know why. Maybe maybe the story opens up at some point. So I think that's all I can do on this part of the sewers. We have 11 of 20 punch cards. $537. I need to hold on to my money because shit gets tight. Real tight. All right, let's go uh, pick up the payload at nav point. Or actually, do we have a? Uh, mm, I mean, I have to come down here anyway, so I'm gonna stop over here and see what this upgrade is. Ow! Ow. Come on. Come on, let me let me park.
All right, what do you got? Uh, let's see. These souped-up repulsors with ceramic coils have almost no drag for quicker ascents. I think that could be good. I don't really notice the difference, but okay. All right, where do we gotta go? Pick up that payload. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this a lot. Except for the driving, I'm not, I'm not very good at the driving. I am thankful you don't have to refuel your car all that often, because that would get a little annoying. Also, it's not lost on me that we're playing this game, and then very soon after this, we're going to be playing another game where you're basically a UPS delivery guy in Death Stranding. A lot of package type games going to be played pretty soon. Uh, Deprecated Zone, okay. Let's see if I can find the parking spot. Death Stranding does not have flying cars. This, this is true. This is so cool, though. Uh, let's see. Pick that up. That won't be there. Pretty sure the plasteel parts I can um, I can sell and not feel like I'm wasting it. All right, let's head up. I'm starting to understand the map a little bit more, which is definitely helping. Because at first it was really really hard to figure out what was going on. Another Naked Man book. Nice. All right, what do we got over here? Not much. There's a couple of packages here or there. The Ritu Chi. This is Octavius Butler. What's up? I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? <laughs> it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a chauffeur. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. No. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going, then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. I don't and think they'd all fit in my car. gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Ugh. Parking prohibited. Deliver your passengers first. Oh my. Okay. This is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. 
Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. I'm like sure. basically an Uber driver right now in space. <laughs> Well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler Woo! is human passing, but I don't care about that. <laughs> I just hit a cop car. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean it. My bad. For who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. Oh, she's fucking an android. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification. Oh my god, they kicked out some poor people so that they could live there. They're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. I don't see how that's even kind It's a short, kinder. sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? Oh, I don't like this lady no one, one bit. stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocron yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. Mm, um, We're um, almost um, at our destination. Splendid. No, we're you see, literally Mr. at our destination. Look <laughs> at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't harken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like... This game is the sequel to Detroit Become Human. I just realized that. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. Holy you shit, can this lady is evil. House as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Holy Very cow. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Cora models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Cora? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way. It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. 
I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and mm. rat salad. Mm -hmm. No offense, mm. dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Okay, she's kind of a piece of garbage. I did get a mirror upgrade for my apartment. I definitely want to fill out my apartment with as much as I possibly can. I did not like those people at all. God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. <laughs> I laugh it's at them. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. Like How Taylor Swift, wait, what, what? I only know about uh, the radio, Camus. I don't know how I get over here. I think I go up the elevator. An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something ba, 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 ba. I'm going to get DMCA'd for this. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. All right. Let me go get this little item over here. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go get this item now. All right, I think I got everything over here. All right, so I tell you what, guys, that is gonna do it, I think, for us tonight. Uh, fun start, though. Four hours of that. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely plan on playing that some more tomorrow. Um, like I said, uh, tomorrow we're gonna start at around seven, seven thirty p.m. Central Time. I'm um, gonna wait until after the Saints game. Uh, in the chat, thank you, Mono. You can see my socials and the Discord and all that stuff. Uh, be sure to join us over there. Follow me on Twitter um, and join our Discord. Uh, if you haven't followed the stream yet, uh, I invite you to do so uh, and get alerts for when we go live and uh, come join us again here next time we are live. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'm going to host somebody up. You guys have a really awesome night and a Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Otherwise, have an awesome Friday, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.